Hey everybody, Chad here with Canine Revolution Dog Training. Today we're going to be doing a short video clip on a uh, training session with a bite sleeve. Alright, we got a Doberman Pincher out on the training field today. He's a little bit more experienced uh, than some other dogs. And today we're just going to be doing a maintenance session on a, a harder sleeve to grip onto. What that means is going to be take more effort for him to hold on to the bite sleeve we're using today. So what you see us doing, I've got him posted up with a leash on a uh, harness. We've, all, we've got our helper out on the field with the sleeve on and a stick. And right now I'm, drag, or I'm letting the Doberman drag us into uh, the bite sleeve, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm providing back tension to slow him down on his approach to the bite sleeve as the first bite of the session. But once he's on the grip, on the sleeve, what we're gonna be looking at is, we're gonna be looking at the space between his teeth and the uh, bite sleeve so you see there's a small gap of space there between his mouth and the bite sleeve we want him to fill his mouth up with the bite sleeve so what we're looking for is we're gonna watch him develop there we go watch him develop to where he grips the sleeve with his entire mouth and crunches down on it with all of his might okay and this is a very hard sleeve to hold on to so you'll see him slip off of it just a little bit um, but we're going to be using tension applied by both the helper and the leash on the harness in order to help him to build up a better grip on that sleeve okay once that sleeve is won by giving a good grip so the helper will allow him to win the sleeve we run off away from the helper and then get him off the sleeve and then the helper's gonna challenge him for the sleeve like you see just there. So he's gonna be brought just, just behind the sleeve. The helper will run up, challenge him for the sleeve, and we'll go again. All right, this time was a full send away. So we let go of the leash completely, let him go at his own speed toward the helper and grip onto the sleeve himself. When he does that, the uh, handler's gonna walk up, grab the leash, apply tension and uh, release tension as needed to continue to develop the grip. So you can see the helper here checking the grip, looking to see if there's any gap between his teeth or his jaw and the sleeve, which he's got it pretty full. So good to go. He keeps digging in deeper every time there's uh, uh, tension released on the harness. And then at a certain point, once the helper feels like the dog's giving it all he can, then we're gonna allow him to win the sleeve and go back for another grip, all right? So again, here he is guarding the sleeve. The helper's coming up, challenging for the sleeve. The handler's holding the dog back. Helper puts on the sleeve, moves away, and then the dog is sent away again. Comes in again for another grip, right? Let's see how his grip looks on the next grip. So he's putting it deep in his mouth. You can see him gripping a little bit deeper as the helper moves him. Handler walks up, grabs the leash and the harness to provide that back tension as needed. And then the helper continues to work the dog on the grip. The stick is gonna be used, you see in the helper's right hand, the stick's gonna be used to apply a little bit of stress, um, but it can also stem up the dog depending on how the trainer is gonna condition the dog uh, to the different pieces of equipment that we're using here. All right, but again, we're checking that grip. We want a nice deep grip. We want him crunching down that sleeve and the helper is going to let him win that sleeve when the dog has fulfilled that task. Full deep grip, sleeve all the way in his mouth and crunching down and the helper can feel that on his arm, crunching down that sleeve with all of his might. All right, then the handler moves away from the helper, has the dog release the sleeve, and then the helper challenges the dog for the sleeve again. Once he has the sleeve, he moves away for a send away, and then the handler is gonna release the dog when given the, uh, the command to do the send away. Okay, dog comes into the sleeve, grabs the sleeve again, begins to uh, challenge the helper for the sleeve, and again, we're looking for that uh, full deep grip. All right, so we come over to the side here, we assess how is that dog's grip. Is he uh, biting deeply? Is he biting hard? Is he putting that sleeve all the way into his mouth as much as he can? Those are all things we're going to develop, uh, especially for protection dogs. We're going to develop these skills because when that dog's on the grip, we want them to put it fully into their mouth, nice and deep. All right. So he puts it deep into his mouth. That's the end of the session on this one. The dog doesn't want to leave the training field. So uh, the handler just continues to walk away and allows the dog to win the sleeve off the training field to continue to build up confidence in these types of behaviors. As with just straight obedience, it comes down to repetition, practice, and consistency. All right, hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave us a comment below, subscribe. See you all next time.